Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys three steps to make your lace closures or frontals pop um, and look super natural. So I'm starting off with this 6x6 lace closure and this is just your standard Swiss lace. And as you can see, if you are a deeper tone, normally the lace has like this ashy cast and so we do not want that and i'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that ashy cast and make it blend into your skin a little better so step one is going to be to bleach your knots so i'm going to take some bw2 and 30 volume developer i'm going to mix that in a mixing bowl and i'm using an applicator brush just to apply that all over the lace. I like to start in the front of the lace because I like to make sure that those knots get bleached the most because I feel like that's the most important part. And then I'm just going to start working my way back, going from side to side, applying the bleach. So as far as my consistency of my bleach, you know, not too thick, not too runny, just enough to kind of sit and stay in place. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do first. And so then your wig should look something like this once all of once you have everything applied. And so now I'm going to flip my wig over. So I'm going to take it off, um, take my pins out. I'm going to put a plastic bag down um, to sit underneath that bleach. And then I'm going to put my wig with the closure down. And be careful um, not to get the bleach on the roots of the hair too much you want to make sure that it kind of just stays on the inside of the lace step two is going to be to color your roots black so this is actually kind of optional but I'm going to use this Revlon box color in soft black and I just followed the directions and I'm going to clean my mixing bowl and my applicator brush and I'm going to squirt some of that into the bowl it's just a little easier to apply the solution to the brush when it's in the bowl but yeah Step two is we're gonna color our roots black. Again, this is optional, but personally, I prefer to color my roots black. I just feel like it makes the, your quote unquote scalp pop. So once you bleach those knots, I feel like the contrast between the bleach knots and the dark roots really makes that scalp-like appearance and it makes like the scalp pop. So, um, you know that's why you see people kind of going in with like a dark brown powder or something in their parting area because they want to make that skin like appearance pop so I just prefer to just go ahead and color my roots so that I don't have to apply makeup to my scalp all the time or to the roots of my hair all the time um, so yeah I like to do this even if I do like a colored wig um, you just want to go in and color those roots and you only need about an inch of black dye if that's what you prefer I actually went ahead and colored my entire wig black but um, if you don't want your wig black you just only need about an inch of color of black color at the roots and it's gonna give you that um, extra little pop but again step two is actually optional you don't have to do this if you don't want it so now I'm just going through making sure that I got all the areas and that I didn't miss any spots in the scalp and I let that all sit and process for maybe 30 to 40 minutes. And then to wash it, I'm using my Blonde Brilliance toner. And I use that for my scalp. And that's just to tone the knots so that they don't look too brassy. And I did all of that off camera. And this is how my wig looks after I have bleached the knots, toned the knots, and colored my roots um, jet black. As you can, guys can see, it looks really natural already. So the last step is toning the lace. So next you're going to need a spray bottle, preferably something that's uh, mist and not squirt. I'm using just an old setting spray, um, like for my makeup, an old makeup bottle. And you're going to need some salt. So I'm going to pour some salt into that bottle. And then I'm using the Adore in the color Honey Brown. Now depending on your skin tone, you may need to go up or down a color. You're going to have to kind of search the color range and find a color that works for you. 
but I'm going to mix um, pour some of that into the bottle next and then I'm going to uh, add some water to that mixture I did that off camera and I'm going to stir it and I'm just going to shake it up and make sure that everything kind of mix together perfectly and then I'm going to spray it on the paper towel just to kind of see what color I have um, and see if I need to add more color to it so I went ahead and added some more of that Adore Honey Brown uh, to kind of amp up the color a little bit it's coming off a little green on the napkin but um, it, it worked really well um, so yeah again then you're just going to spray it all over your lace I mainly kind of concentrated mine in the front because that's the part that I really need to melt into my skin and this bottle actually wasn't a good bottle to use it didn't mist as much it was more of a squirt um, so yeah I just have to go in with my paper towel and kind of you know make sure that the product was distributed evenly but yeah as far as the color you're gonna have to play with the color depending on your skin tone I did some research usually honey brown is like the most recommended it's kind of like in the middle so depending on your skin tone you may need to add more honey brown or you may need to find another darker brown adore color to add or if you are a lighter complected then you you know you can use a lighter concentration of the mixture you're gonna have to play around with it depending on your skin tone and then I'm just taking my blow dryer on a cool setting and I'm just blow drying it and then I'm gonna go in and add another layer I did about three layers of this solution similar to finding your color match you can add as many layers as you want depending on your skin tone and your desired color payoff Another quick option you can do if you don't have bleaching powder or the Adore hair dye is that you can take some foundation and mix it with some water into a spray bottle and um, spray that on your lace. I tried this on another unit and I'll show you guys what the color payoff looks like. So it doesn't necessarily tint your lace. For me, in my opinion, as you guys can see like that brown on the ring, it gives it more of like the bleach knots. So if you wanna skip bleaching your knots, you can also try this tip as well. guys and here's just a side-by-side -side comparison of before and after as you guys can see I no longer have that ashy cast and the roots and everything looks so much more natural um, so yeah that's it guys if you want your wigs to look super natural I definitely recommend following these steps I used to shortcut and kind of skip it but it's a it's a necessity and so here's how it looks once it's installed I will have a part two coming showing you guys how I install this hair and more information about the hair so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that video and yeah thank you all for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the installation video bye